Welcome back. And as we earlier said in our intro that uh, today we are going to be tackling the historical relations between Egypt and Somalia since the independence of Somalia in 1960. A strong bond that uh, uh, bind uh, the two nations together and a lot has been taking place. You name it, cultural, uh, bilateral relations and uh, uh, a lot of partnership. And today we're going to uh, take a comprehensive look over the, this historical relation with uh, our dear guest here live in the studio, Dr. Hamra Abdurrahman, our political analyst. Good morning, Dr. Abdurrahman. Good morning to you. I'm most delighted to, have, to be with you. Our pleasure, sir. What uh, would you, uh, if you could tell us more about the historical relations between Egypt and Somalia since 1960 when Somalia took the independence? Um, Mr. Egypt has a great role in the independence of most or even all of the African uh, countries, mm. and the African nations. They have this uh, historical role based upon that our roots are from Africa. Mm. The Egyptian rules are from Africa. So that's why the, the leadership right afterwards, the revolution, uh, July uh, 23rd, uh, they have acted upon this fact. They have realized that our relations uh, in the Arab region and the African continent is the true base of our existence or, and the battle for existence, uh, as we, we may say. Uh, we have this historical relation with the, the Somali uh, nation and, of course, politically uh, all over uh, the past decades, even though we have suffered uh, um, going uh, with those relation under a deep freeze in the past uh, three decades. We, uh, there, were, there, were, there was ignorance uh, on purpose for our relations with Africa and, for, and of course, the Somali nation. Uh, the, this this uh, historical relation was a victim of, uh, for those uh, strategies or uh, politi uh, politics that was taken uh, place in the past three decades. Right afterwards, the revolution of th uh, June 30, we have captured where the, 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 Ju the Ju July uh, 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 revolution has stopped. Mm. We have started to build again the bridges between Mesra, Egypt, and the African uh, nations very, uh, in a very short time. And I believe that we have succeeded so, ve so, so very noticed that we have achieved again the post that Egypt deserves as a leader of the, uh, the African uh, Council and as a leader of this continent. We are the leading nation of our friendly nations in Africa. Somalia, Somalia is one of the most important country. We, have, uh, we, we didn't have any, uh, we didn't pay them uh, any visit since uh, almost 50 years. That's a very long time. And we are now trying to fulfill the gaps in our relations. Without uh, those gaps, if we didn't, uh, ignore our relation, we wouldn't have been facing this crisis with the Ethiopian nation. Uh, we lit uh, uh, a bad regime, a hostile regime in Ethiopia to, 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 to uh, cultivate uh, hostilities between two friendly nations, mm. the Egyptian and the Ethiopian, before, because we have lit this gap, that, that gap on those um, past times, they were filled by other uh, hostile power. Uh, we, we were talking about the Zionist existence. We, we are talking about all the, 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 um, the intels, the intelligence of our enemies. They were right uh, uh, playing in, in our uh, background in Africa, messing around with our own uh, national security as a country as, 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 and as a continent mm. and as a nation. 
we need to, uh, of course, to rebuild those relations, and that's what, that's what uh, we are doing it right now in a very uh, successful way. This was the, the most important step in our diplomacy, in our foreign affairs files, to regain our relations and to build up again our bridges with the, uh, with the uh, African continent and the African nations. Mm. That's true. Um, uh, talk to us about the significance of uh, the Prime Minister's visit to Somalia on behalf of President Al-Sisi uh, and how it was received uh, there. They have welcomed us, of course. Mm. I believe that uh, we have, although it's a long history and a long time history, but they the respect this history of relations between uh, Egypt and, uh, and, Som and Somali nations and other countries. And of course, they have welcomed this. Uh, Somalia is a very important country because uh, a large sector of the Somali race or the Somali tribes mm. are part of the same nation that, uh, that are combined in Ethiopia. Mm. The, the Somali tribes are part of the Ethiopian tribes. Mm. This is very important and very significant. To achieve relations with those tribes we, we, all, we all know, of course, that too many countries in, uh, in Africa are still uh, rogue nations, are still, uh, still um, so very, uh, not so very much civilized. Uh, so many of them just uh, went through each other against, against each other as tribes. And of course, the, the, the states in, in Africa is all new, mm. uh, all, only uh, six years or something. So I believe that building up our relationship again with uh, Somalia is very important for our national security, our common interests, our own national, our own national uh, cooperation, uh, cultiv uh, cultivate, uh, even in investments, in cultivations, in uh, cultivation sectors, in, um, uh, and of course, militarily and of course uh, other uh, sides of this cooperation. Mm. So um, in your opinion, how does this visit uh, come to uh, revive the uh, historical relations and empower it and enforce it, especially that Egypt is retaining its leading role back in Africa? How is that impo uh, important visit come to, uh, at its time to uh, uh, bind the two countries together? That's exactly what I'm uh, that's what, exactly what I'm talking about here. Mm. We are uh, rebuilding the basis of those uh, relations with, uh, with the African uh, nations, which is very important to us, mm. very important to our roots, to our uh, cooperation, to face and to stop and to build barricades against any influences any uh, foreign influences from out uh, the continent to go through our uh, own uh, national security. Egypt is now playing the role it was meant to have since it was created as a leader of this continent. Mm. And this can never be ha happening without our fr friendly relations with our friendly nations. Mm. Our, our neighbors, our brother in the same race and the same blood that uh, we share together. And of course, we need to have this common vision as Egypt and other uh, associates in Africa that we have, sh we should, we must have our own common uh, vision towards any interference and any Foreign, in, uh, uh, or, uh, foreign uh, influ influence mm. from, uh, from uh, out Respect the country. Respecting the others' sovereignty and respecting uh, uh, and the of integrity of uh, uh, countries. No, no other power in the world can understand the privacy of our own nations uh, as we do, as mm. Egyptian, Egyptians as, and as Africans. Mm. And because we respect democracy and we exercise it in the right way, uh, um, uh, transparent way. We Credible. respect them as brothers. Mm. 
just, just, not just politically. We mm -hmm. respect each other. And like other countries who talk, keep talking about democracy, yes, but do a, not exercise. Just to build their own bridges and to occupy our own continent. Mm. Let's talk about Egypt, uh, um, uh, that at the time that Egypt had welcomed the uh, successful holding of the Somali uh, elections and has also uh, reiterated supporting uh, to the political path and political transformation in Somalia and efforts to, uh, to put the country back on its political track. Uh, and had uh, been able to be a backbone and support to Somalia at a very critical time. If you like to elaborate on this very important uh, phase. Not only Somalia. We, uh, we have a very important role mm. to well, help mm. the African uh, nations to choose freely uh, their governors, their regimes that will rule them on the basis of the national security of the continent and their own, pro as, as, the, 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 as, I ha as I have mentioned, they, we have this privacy in, in, in Africa, in the African continent, without any accepting or uh, going after uh, other uh, powers or being allies to other powers. We need to only to be allies to ourselves as uh, the African uh, nations, I'm talking about all the, the, the continents. Those regimes uh, we, the, that we are helping, we are uh, t trying to associate the nations to build uh, on this very uh, basic uh, points, very important things. Our national security, the, the, whole, con the whole continent national security, cutting any roads b f for any uh, uh, outsiders cutting any uh, means to any intelligence uh, agency to go uh, to go and um, the, 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 this continent is a victim of a long-term mm. uh, colonizations uh, from you name it mm. I don't want to mention it but it's all uh, of course known the the gold mines uh, the diamond mines were were and still are one of the most important veins of the European, uh, European uh, civilization, what's so called civilization. Mm. They are robbing our own, in, uh, our continental uh, minds until this very moment. Mm. By building a strong and, and solid and independent regime in, a, in, a, in any uh, nation in any nation of uh, uh, of Africa, we are uh, drying this vein, this uh, illegal uh, way of robbing our own uh, treasures, our own uh, national security uh, resources. Mm. We need to have this as a common vision. We are not opposing anything on any on any other country. We are trying to communicate on this basis. We need to be strong, independent from other powers in the world. Right, let's talk about the Egyptian-Somali uh, uh, partnership, expected partnership, uh, just like any other African country. What, are, what is the expected um, fruitful partnership between Egypt and Somalia and in which fronts could it be successful? Well, of course, we have so many sources uh, and there the are too, too, too many sources in Somalia to, to uh, communicate uh, upon. Mm. Uh, economically, of course, we mm. have uh, um, cattle, uh, large cattle uh, op uh, opportunities, and we uh, have the potentials to communicate with us in a, in a very large scale. Mm. We need them, of course, to, to build up their, their own country. As a strong uh, country, we, uh, the, the Somali deserves. Mm. Right. Uh, education also has been one of the most prominent areas of cooperation between uh, Egypt and Somalia. For decades, and we, as we speak, Egypt through the national education system and through, in particular, uh, the Azhar Institution has provided educational support to Somalia. Uh, how do you assess these efforts in uh, um, empowering 
uh, the Somali nation. We're talking now the, the soft powers mm. of, the, uh, of our uh, nation, the Egyptian nation. We are talking the soft powers uh, of our state, our new mm. state. Mm. We need to use them for the benefits for, of our nations. When we have uh, Somali uh, students in El Azhar, in the Holy Azhar, we, we build uh, a new generation having their own uh, identity, which we lack right now in uh, too many nations. When they have a strong identity, we, we have this uh, feeling that we belong to this country. We can never allow strangers to come and uh, act as they, 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 they are helping us or provide us with their foreign uh, uh, ideas of our, uh, their, their twisted uh, ideas of democracy and uh, self-expression uh, uh, and things like this in their very twisted ways. We need to build our own way of rule, mm. our own way of rules, uh, ruling uh, ourselves based our, upon our own identity. We need to regain uh, our own culture, intellectual uh, roots. This is very important. On those bases, nations only can, all, can, can be built. Mm. Right. Um, uh, also, the, talking about uh, 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 the new Egyptian administration and a very successful phase of soft diplomacy and soft power has been taking place ever since President Abdel Fattah Sisi have stepped into office. Uh, the implication of that uh, very smart phase in Egypt's uh, uh, history uh, and the, um, uh, the power of uh, the, the soft diplomacy of President Sisi and his administration in collecting and uh, connecting at the same time all African countries under uh, the helm of uh, the uh, Egyptian leadership and uh, uh, stretching our hands and uh, the health campaigns that has been spread all over African countries and the initiatives and uh, the sustainable uh, development goals and uh, uh, the unification uh, of, the, of the whole continent. Exactly. All these ideas, uh, uh, how is that going to fortify and add to the welfare of the continent and Egypt also. Well, I believe this uh, kind of cooperation can only be the, the, the most leading uh, role in, the, in our relations. Mm. To have our own uh, common uh, developing, developing uh, resource, our own developing uh, projects. We had an example, a very big one and a large one. Which, which is uh, the Julius Nereri uh, Dam the, that we are building in, uh, in exactly, Congo. Exactly. We can have the same projects in Somalia and others, and other uh, countries, and other uh, projects, mm. uh, not especially, especially dams, but other projects. Uh, we have this fruitful way of uh, making our nations grow and uh, have their, their own uh, decision, uh, mm. building their own uh, countries again. Mm. Without this, we can never have, if we, didn't, if we didn't plant hope in those nations, all is going to be in vain. Mm. And only this successful project can build up this, these relations between Egypt and uh, our friends in Africa, and also give them uh, stronger ties with Egypt, that mm. we are helping them to go with us on the same course, being independent countries for the first time in hundreds of, hundreds of years. Mm. We are talking about hundreds of years of being uh, a follower to other uh, powers, whether the East or the West. Mm. Now, as we are speak, as we are speaking here, Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi is leading Egypt for the first time after uh, we had our uh, independence uh, in uh, 1952. For the first time, we are taking the course, the, 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 this course without being a follower, we, either to the West or to the East, for, for the first time. This mm. has a cost, but we are willing to pay this cost and 
go on with this uh, this uh, course to, for for what what it takes because it's our own independence is the base of building uh, uh, the bigger Egypt the greater Egypt we are seeking I hope it's, uh, it's soon mm. but without independence we can never build a strong a stronger country our role is preserved for Egypt no mm. one ha no one could even they have tried, but they couldn't take our own role mm. as a leading country, whether Turkey or Iran or what's whatsoever. They have tried, mm. but they couldn't because this role is prever uh, pre preserved, preserved for us. For we, we can only go mm. for this role and grab it and take it and rule again. Right. On this note, we'll have to end it here. Uh, Dr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst, would like to thank you so much for thank coming you. and you have a beautiful day. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. And uh, we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show, so stay with us.